Welcome to this week's episode of You Don't Know Jack. Here we have guest star Contavious Street. So Contavious, uh, tell us where you're from. Uh, I'm originally from Douglas, Georgia, a little small town. Uh, it's better known as Coffee County. Uh, just back there in the country. Uh, moved up here my spring of my sophomore year to Jage Rose in Greenville. Mm -hmm. And you know, that's where it all blew up. I mean, you could have just said Greenville, but you know, that's okay, that's a cute story. No, oh, excuse me. So, um, <laughs> that's quite a baggy shirt you got there. Are those goals? Like, um, I thought you were the type to, you know, wear a Smedium. Well. Because you like showing off the muscles and things like well, that. Well, I am, you know, uh, I guess I didn't, I didn't really have fat? that much. Oh, I'm fat. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 This is 280 of speed, strength, and power, big dog. Um, 280 of uh, speed and power. 10% body fat. You know, I try. I try. You might want to try a little bit harder. Try a little bit harder. <laughs> My bad. So, um, you know, when you first got here, you always did, like, the Superman gesture and things like that. Do you really consider yourself a superhero? I try to. Not. It's not a 24-7 job, but when it's called upon, yes, I do consider myself. Who have you saved in your lifetime? Who haven't I saved or who have I saved? Who have, have you I saved? saved. Um, like, besides the opponents, because, the you know, you saved them from looking bad because... Oh. You made them look good. <laughs> okay. Um, um, it's just got to such a high number, now I lose count. Um, so, how does it feel to be a five star? Because you kind of threw that around a lot too, you know. Oh, come on, man. I rarely said anything about my recruitment until the little banquet, and I didn't even say I was a five star. Oh, is that right? I said I was highly recruited because, you know, as a famous speaker, <sighs> as, um, Eric Thomas was, mm -hmm. I just felt like I should give him my backstory. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, college being a big challenge when we first got here. Oh, yes, yes. So, like, I should give him my backstory, mm -hmm. tell him all about that, mm -hmm. the stresses of camp, mm -hmm. and that's where the recruiting came up. That's very interesting. Because from my perspective, this is how the conversation went. Hello, oh, yes. I'm five-star Contavious Street, <laughs> and I've done everything. Pop I have won every award imaginable. I've done it all. But I just need help. You know, I feel so amazing, and I am so amazing, but I just need to be a little bit better, a little bit more amazing. Can you help me, Eric Thomas? And he said, no, sir, I cannot help you. And we moved on to the next question. That's crazy. So how did your freshman year go? Freshman year here? Mm -hmm. Oh, it was good, you know. Um, had some great seniors to follow behind, uh, Art, T.Y., Thomas Till, you know. Um, the biggest challenge is probably fitting into the scheme, you know, understanding things so I can play faster. Mm -hmm. So overall, I say it was okay. You know, mm -hmm. I always got room for improvement. Yeah. Well, you did ask. You did. You asked me if you could be on the show. I did. Specifically after I the did. spring game. I did. So do you feel like you're worthy of being on the show? I I do. I do. I feel comfortable in this chair right now. Yeah. Oh really? Is that yeah. right? Why do you feel so comfortable? I mean, um, compared to last year, and then when I go to spring, I feel like I made uh pretty good leaps and bounds towards uh, being a better player. So I felt like, hey, you know, uh, like you said before the interview, Joe Tooney's been on here, and mm -hmm. you know, I've been challenging him a lot. So I uh, feel like I should have a chance to sit in this chair too. I believe you do have the, the traits, you know, you have what it takes. I'm Let's proud go. of you. That's what I'm talking I'm about. I raised you well. <laughs> so how do you? How are you getting along with uh, the uh, all of the other players? You know, being a five star, you know, oh, we have us go. two and three stars over here. How have you been in the locker room? Like, has I've, been, it I've been good. You know, I'm a lot closer with the D line and the O line, mm -hmm. but uh, I get along well with everybody. Um, I'm kind of quiet, loner at times, but I get along well with the guys. Yeah, because since you're number 35, but you're a D lineman, you know, you're over here with the skill position, but like the O lineman and the D lineman all the way over there on yeah. the other side, you know. So it makes it difficult at times, yeah. yeah. I bet it does make it difficult, especially with shoes, right? <laughs> yeah. You know, because um, I'm pretty sure, I remember the first week we got here, and uh, you came in the locker room, and uh, you opened up your uh, cubby, you know, it was locked. Yeah. And you said, uh, we were like wondering, oh, why, no, are, your why, cleats in, why yeah. are your cleats in your cubby? <laughs> and you said, oh, because I thought you guys were going to steal them. What size shoe do you wear? Uh, 14, 15 at times. 15. You know what size shoe I wear? What's that, like a 10? 12. 12. I will never wear your shoes. I mean, days. I didn't know because I thought y'all were going to be playing freshman pranks and everything, so I just came prepared at the time, you know? Or we thought we were going to steal five-star Contavia Street <gasps> shoes and sell them on eBay for some profit. <laughs> That's what go. you really thought. No. 
It's it's okay. You can admit it. You know, we're alive. You can admit it. That's you crazy. I, w- I would never think of such a thing from my great teammates, such as Jack Tocho. You know, I just came prepared because, you know, it's a big hoop about everybody pranking the freshmen. So I make sure that I was going to be a victim. So I just, you know, put my cleats in the locker. Kept it safe. Rather safe than sorry. Well, if you haven't seen the sign in the front in front of the Murphy, we're a blue-collar school, and we don't do that. <laughs> All right. So uh, I know you've made a transition from uh, defensive end to defensive tackle. Are you? I know you talked about how well you did in the spring. Are you really prepared for this upcoming season? I my mind's ready, but I, c- I still have a lot of things I need to work on. So I say, yeah, my mind's towards it, but still got a lot of things I need to work on. Yeah. First things first, we got to fill in that shirt. <laughs> it's like a three X, dude. I'm a extra large type of guy, you know. That's I'm an extra, extra large, large kind of guy too. That's oh. Exactly. That yeah, you it. need a lot of filling in today. <laughs> Well, my name is Jack Tocho, and we have five-star Contavious Street, and you don't know Jack. Mm-hmm.